Hello everybody, Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks coming to you with a brand new Market of Mayhem late, late edition. But I'm wanting to uh, definitely put one out today because uh, I actually had a lot of people hitting me up in the Discord because they were like, hey, Jax, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? A couple of different things that we're going to talk about. And this is one of them. All right, let's go to that market. All right, as the doors open up on the market, you can see right here a little bit of controversy at the end of the rainbow because it's not all that clear. If you look down at the bottom of the screen here, we took a screenshot. One rabbit's foot, I'm taking it. Um, for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 golden tickets. That's like 100 bucks worth. Okay, well, how much is this rabbit's foot? Let's find that out. Let's go to the market. Let's find out how much the rabbit's foot is, because that's something else we're going to talk about. End of the rainbow. This is where we get a rabbit's foot. Is this it? Yeah, this is where possible. Oh, well, wait a second. Hold on. Let's look closer. All right, so basically what you're doing, guys, what this is, and I saw a lot of scuttlebutt about it, uh, both on the Discord, both on Reddit, uh, people hitting me up. Essentially, a lot of people kind of got tricked into buying this. You have a grand whopping 2% chance. Uh, in fact, I'll move out of the way. 2%. 2% chance to get this lucky charm. Essentially, what this is, guys, is this is a 1,200 campaign energy offer plus a, a bonus. Uh, a base plus a bonus. That's what it is, guys. So let's go to the other thing that we were going to talk about. Another thing that had people up in arms and really upset. Right here, Will League for the Lanterns, the Looney Lanterns, which essentially are kind of like tune-up tickets in a way. Uh, the rewards are kind of different here or there, tomato, tomato kind of. Um, and a lot of people were upset about the fact that they're put into this uh, type of format. Now, the old format before, whether you loved it, hate it, uh, eventually you're going to get to the point where you're just hitting auto. You know, getting your little stuff and then going on. And it's, it's going to be very limited after a while. I found myself getting to that point. This at least gives you something to do. Not only does it give you something to do, but it also gives you two spots so you're not waiting around. It's one versus one. Um, the biggest thing that I personally see out of it that might be a little bit of an issue is the time because the time is reduced uh, compared to the, regu the uh, regular arena. So that may be an issue. Otherwise, I don't necessarily hate it. Hey, I mean, they're at least trying something and they... They didn't just totally cock it up in the process. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments down below. And let's go to the market. All right. We're going to give this a regular yuck. And, and the only reason I say that is because it's kind of sneaky. Okay? It's super sneaky. Uh, I know that uh, one of my members uh, of the Jack's Army in chat on Twitch actually bought this. Uh, by mistake thinking that you could get it because when you click on it uh, it kind of gives you this weird little oh this is all I have to do so we're going to click on it here oh I just nine bucks okay cool well we're not going to actually buy it because there's a bunch of RNG involved and um, your nine bucks is gone that quick if you don't look and realize there's a 2% chance so I really don't like it we're going to give that the yuck the next thing is, okay, guys, black tickets. All right, if you can get these black tickets for $9.99 for four spins, that's three tickets to every black ticket. It takes one black ticket to spin the wheel. So if you can get it for $9.99 and you're determined to spin that wheel, that's the best pricing that you can get on it. So I don't hate that. What I do hate are the anchor pricing and the confusion in which they try to play kind of a shell game on those black tickets. Speaking of uh, shell game, I'm kind of mixed. I'll be honest, I'm kind of mixed, guys. I'm kind of mixed. Uh, 8,000 Cosmic Stones is a base offer for $19.99 in the store. 
And then you have an equal chance, 33% across the board, to get a 3, 4, or 5 Cosmic Star on one of these tunes. Now, here's my only issue. I, would, I wouldn't necessarily hate this, um, except equal chance at these stars, but what about the tunes? What about the tunes? As a wise man once said, aha. Exactly. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments down below. And we're going to move on. Again, I see the value here, whether or not it is six times, because they say it's six times value. I do see the value in this in helping. We've got Athena uh, coming out. We've got Omike coming out before her all this month. 28 tickets, 2,000 gems, 1,500 energy, and all the rest of it can just be a bonus for 20 bucks. Uh, we'll go ahead and give this one the Talking Tommy <laughs> seal of approval. Um, 28 tickets, 28 bucks, my valuation. In game pricing for this um, is about 10 bucks. We just saw the in game pricing for this. Uh, or I'm sorry, about 20 bucks and then 20 bucks. So, I mean, definitely worth it there. All right, black tickets we're going to pass up because those are the base price. Then we're going to come over here. All of these are at least featured event tunes, so there's that. I don't know about Car Keep Sam being 10 bucks. Um, I say go Wild Card Ralph if you don't have him at 7.7 .7 already after this Desert Regional and you've already purchased the 299 because the 299 is the energy offer of the day 750 for 299 is the best you can absolutely get we've got base gem pricing and this is proof on the best pricing you can get 140 canteens will get you nothing so let's not worry about that and all of this and then we go over here okay so i did want to talk about this this was part of kind of the controversy one black dynamite so five bucks to play one arena match. Uh, we're going to give this the -da 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 -da, super yuck. I don't like this part of it at all. And then it just gets worse from there, right? Uh, this, actually, guys, this is the same as the, the same offer as the tune-up ticket will offer. Um, so I'm not quite sure about that. And then this one is basically the same except more. It's just on a different wheel. So let's go to the offers. Our daily gambling gimmick, along with the uh, gambling gimmick at the end of the rainbow, uh, 175 or a thousand. Uh, you've got a two percent chance. Throw that five dollars at it and see what you get. I don't like it. Yucky. All right, uh, we're gonna go on again. Like I said, like if you look right here, the same amount of spins for the tune-up wheel. Uh, it's kind of basically that's the theme of today. Uh, base offers with a bonus. Uh, that's kind of what, and because all of this is all base. Uh, and everything in the featured are pretty much just bonuses. All right, go to the events tab. As you see, all of our little special event uh, token stuff that we talked about yesterday, gone, gone. Uh, we've got all base stuff, so we're not really interested in that. Uh, our base offers are back for healing potions. All of this gets a yuck. Uh, just accrue your potions the old-fashioned way. We also don't have any current uh, things going for the Cosmic Stones. That's a that's a big rough spot. And um, that's about it as far as the market. Now, one thing I did want to do before we go, I did not do this yesterday on the market, and I was called out for it, and I slipped up and didn't do it, but I want to do it now. All right, so we've got two wheels in this event. We've got the Oasis. We've got the Cactus. Um, which wheel is better? Now, it all depends on what you're going for, right? It all depends on what you're trying to do. But as we look, the Oasis wheel has Conqueror Taz, used for a PTL. Revenant Roadrunner, used for a PTL. Speedy Gonzalez, used for a PTL. All right, so let's look at the Cactus wheel. Uh, nope. Nope, nothing. So, if you're on a PTL hunt for characters of PTL, for King Daffy or um, uh, Super Rabbit, uh, then go f go for this wheel. This is going to be the better out of the two. Now, if we look at this wheel, it, you've got two chances at Falkhorn, and that is your best bet out of all of them. So, my personal recommendation, 
oasis all the way uh so that is the market for today guys let me know what you thought of the market did you find anything in there that you found a little bit more valuable than i did if so i do want to know let me know down in the comments below how do you feel about the update the lantern update how do you feel about the uh gambling gimmick at the end of the rainbow uh remember guys whenever a brand new event drops uh, i go live on twitch twitch.tv forward slash mr 901 tommy jacks and as always stay loony and guys we'll catch you down the road